Hello guys, it's Rydek here. I'm making a brief tutorial for you guys uh, to show you how to add a beard to a hair.fmdl without crashing in Blender. So what we're gonna have to do is first download this PES uh, FMDL plugin for Blender.79, the one we usually use for the face hair modifier. So we download it and follow the instructions which is basically uh, pasted in the add-ons folder. So once we have that, and we also have our blender open, and with obviously the face hair modifier installed, uh, we're going to pick uh, the face and the beard. In this case, I'm going to use my cleverly face, which is the one I used to test, um, and use the Eric Peters uh, beard. So what we're gonna do first is obviously copy the the folder of the Peter's beard. Here's the cleverly the cleverly hair. So there we have it, that's Peter's. We're going to extract it, obviously. Once we have it we can open we can open it in Blender. So uh, we will have to go to user preferences one w once we installed it and just go to add-ons as you usually install uh, an add-on for Blender and just take it. So we got that ready and we can import a dot .fmdl in this case the Eric Peters one. You get to see which one of these is the beard so in this case I believe it's uh, hair 2 which is usually the beard for most players so I'm going to delete the rest and I'm going to delete the skeleton this empty axe and this other empty axe so I'm left with only the beard with with its uh, material and textures the modifiers have to be kept and the vertex groups so we can open a different blender now just to check something very quick which is what's the last um, the last number we have for our hair in our player so we have cleverly's hair there and we can check that the number four is the next one on the line so we can close that that's ready and we can go back to this blender and just rename it to four So that's ready. We leave edit mode and we can just import the FMDL of Tom Cleverly's hair. We've got that ready. Now just click on the mesh ID uh, 4, shift, then press mesh hair high, control and P. Set parent to object. We've got that ready there. Now this is very important, we need to go to the add modifier uh, part of Blender and keep the name and select the skeleton for it to be the same skeleton as the original hair. So now basically what we have to do is rename everything or most things as most as we can for the game to read it correctly. So we can leave this like this, but it's important for you to click on the added mesh and go to the to the materials part to check everything's alright. Now we can leave this like this, uh, but uh, I also recommend you go to this texture textures part and click on each one of these to fix not uh, this name seems to not be that important but this one is really important because otherwise I assume it would read uh, this name this is just the name of the texture so just click on each and one of them and delete the dot zero zero one so as you can see 
this is all being fixed and um, in case I I'm keeping for testing purposes I'm just keeping uh, the same ID for each image but obviously you can change that to assign it to the texture you want so for example here we have the source of the hair parts that uh, sorry underscore BSM alt and you can change that by yourself you can also click on mesh ID and check if the FMDL texture settings are correctly assigned in this case they are not as you can see uh, it sets for the Eric Peters uh, ID so we're going to put it to Tom Cleverly's Okay, once that is done. Okay, so sorry for the cut. I, I did a mistake, but now we are here. Everything's ready. We checked if the mesh is correctly assigned to its textures. Everything is named correctly. So now what we're going to do is just click on this empty and compose a new FMDL. Go here to the folder where you have your original hair underscore high. Click there, select file name and just export it. It was exported successfully, so now we can just create a new FPK with either PES Archive Tools or uh, GZS tool, which is also very used. Um, we have that ready, so you can just copy it and paste it onto a folder that is currently working or can be read by the game such as folder in LexVK or a CPK just go to the game update it and there you have it there's the beard and it's ready to go it's just as easy as that I also want to do a brief tutorial on how to fix the normals uh, of your face which is very easy too so we can just go to the face import the FMDL of both the face and the hair high so we got that right here you can see the beard already looking good you can also I believe you can also fix and add stuff for example if you wanted to just uh, click there and add vertices or for example just for testing purposes let's, let's duplicate it and just leave it there so now when we export it we will be able to see if the beard is there and you will be able to see that we can add new vertices to this so we can create more uh, different hairs for example or different beards so what we're going to do is uh, the same process that Huamai did in his video which is basically uh, click on the face 0, 2 and hair 0 we're going to multi-edit uh, we're, we're leaving edit mode and we are pressing shift plus D which is duplicating the object and press ESC to leave it in the same place we go to edit mode with that then go to remove doubles here in tools yeah, this message will pop up and you can set from faces so now we can uh, don't go to multi edit exit sorry you gotta press tab to uh, uh, leave edit mode and now we go to multi edit we go to add a new modifier to multi edit and we're going to create that data transfer modifier we click here then nearest corner of nearest face and custom normals and we press uh, we select multi edit 001 the duplicated object as the source object so we press it apply it you can delete the duplicated one and leave multi edit with this one so as you can see the hair is somewhat fixed and now we can proceed to export it we're gonna start first with uh, the face
and we export it. As you can see, it was exported, exported successfully, and we're just going to get rid of these because uh, otherwise the other objects in the hair uh, will get messed up in terms of the name. Okay, now we've got to rename them. So now that we've got that ready, just click on face FPK and same process. Compose the FMDL and export it. It was exported successfully, so now we can just go to the folder and create the new FPK with best archive tools. Now just paste the folder inside the, a folder that can be read by PES and go to the game and update the face and there you have it uh, this way we can add new vertices we can add new objects we can add glasses we can change and add vertices to the face to the beard to the hair so we can also fix normals but it won't get the result we want but at least we can move things around <laughs> hopefully this is useful to create new stuff uh, for everyone um, yeah hopefully it was easy to understand if you have any questions just leave them down there in the comments below and thanks for watching